There is an 18th century walled cemetery hidden in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, said to be cast under a protective curse by an ancestor of the souls buried there. Legends say if you circle the cemetery seven times at midnight under a full moon, you will face the wolf that haunts these ancient grounds. Tonight is a full moon, and it's almost midnight. Okay, midnight at the Hans Groff Cemetery, Lancaster County. So many legends and stories about this walled cemetery sitting just outside of Marietta in the village of Rowena. Now, some of the stories say that Hans Groff's family was shot down by villagers thinking that they were werewolves. And uh, he currently watches over this cemetery. One of the legends say that if you circle the cemetery seven times, you'll drop dead. Uh, one legend says if you circle it seven times, the werewolf will appear. There are also stories of a white canine or a canine apparition that appear out here to chase visitors away. Now, one of the stories say if you, you have to go backwards, one story says you can just go forward and then you uh, either end up dropping dead or the, the werewolf appears. Now, several people have reported hearing canine or dogs barking or howling off in the distance. Now, there is the small village of Rowena just off to the, uh, the north of here. So, I mean, it could be those dogs, but there have been several reports of wild dogs running out of the field towards individuals that are visiting the cemetery. Whether it's coincidence or not, or they just run wild here, I don't know. Now, Hans is not buried in the cemetery. He, uh, his, his extended family is actually located here in this small walled cemetery. It looks like there's actually old tombstones laying up against the side of the wall out here. I heard some stories on a few different podcasts where individuals back in the 90s actually took some of these stones home to try to refurbish them, get some of the graffiti off of them, and end up having really strange things happen at their house. Uh, one of the stories indicated um, they were, uh, they started hearing noises. Uh, they just, uh, it made, it, it kind of almost cast them under a spell. Uh, one story indicated that the, uh, they broke out into orgies. I don't know if you're picking up the noises that I'm hearing out in the woods out here. I actually want to stick my, my digital recorder out around me to see if we can pick something up, but uh, I'm already hearing interesting sounds from the, from the forest behind me here. Hans Groff was born in Switzerland in 1661. In 1696, Hans fled to Pennsylvania due to persecution of his Mennonite faith by the Roman Catholic Church. But 1696 was also the height of Swiss werewolf witch trials, which occurred across Europe. In 1661, the trial of Hans the werewolf was held in Estonia. 18-year-old Hans confessed that he had hunted as a werewolf for two years. He was executed. History records show that after Hans left Switzerland, he briefly bore the title of Baron von Weldon. These records indicate that Hans' new home was, comparatively, a howling wilderness. Some of these stones are really old. We have uh, a lot of 18th century stones in here. Some of the stories indicate if you say Hans, Hans' name um, 13 times in a row, he will appear and chase you out. 
Like I said, there's so many stories. There's a couple different variations of the werewolf story. The, the fact that they, they thought his family was werewolves and shot him down. But supposedly since his, uh, his family was killed, believed to be werewolves, he cursed, he placed a curse on this cemetery and uh, still protects it to this day, even though he does not, um, he is not buried here. Yeah, I don't know. Um, other than just strange noises and what sounded like a distant howl, which could have been an indoor dog, who knows, um, but definitely a distant howl. In the woods behind me there. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that sound, but that was something large breaking in the woods. My fully charged light just shut off on me. Luckily, I have my back up. Anyhow, I'm going to set up my X8 and see if I uh, pick up any audio that I'm not hearing already.